going guys, 2010, more great SEMA footage, more great interviews, and we're here with a household name in airbrushing guys, you know, I know he inspired me throughout the years, he inspired many of you guys out there, we're here with Craig Frazier. Hey, how's it going, be careful with your hands. Oh, thank you, <laughs> I don't need the death grip. Yeah, I don't need the death grip. As a competitor, I'll give you the death grip. Yeah, That's all right. <laughs> I'm going to use this one next time. Oh, okay, let's see how it does. <laughs> He's a great guy, guys. He's, you know, in terms of sharing knowledge, this is a man, a wealth of knowledge, and he's willing to share it with you, which is great. A lot of artists, you know, you can't say that about them. So uh, thank you, Craig. You've been a wealth oh, of information well. throughout thank the you years. Very much. Too kind. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, Craig, why don't you tell the audience a little bit about yourself and what you do, in case they don't know. Okay, uh, my name's Craig Frazier. I own a company, uh, Air Syndicate, out of California. I work with Cal Concepts. I've uh, been affiliated with House of Color, the booth we're in right, right here at SEMA, uh, for about I think my 12th year with House of Color here, and uh, we're just pretty much showing everything you can do with the new Shimmer 2 line, and as well as the uh, airbrushing, the graphics, the pinstriping, uh, even uh, the clearing and the metal flake and the pearl substrates, everything you can do on vehicles, and hard surfaces. We have blenders here, we've got bombs, fiberglass bombs, we have ink and that we have all the artists do here, as well as cars, the bikes, fine art, you name it. Uh, we're running about 10 artists here with about 8 other guests. Uh, Amy's going to be gracious. <laughs> to help us out and do a killer demo for us. We're having all these artists run in uh, two at a time, eight hours a day, all four days, cranking out demos for all the people to track them all in and really have a great time here. That's fantastic. Yeah, if you guys don't know him, he's really a pillar of the airbrush community. He's been doing a long time. been writing uh, articles in Airbrush Action Magazine as well as uh, some Pinstriper magazines too. Uh, Pinstripe and uh, Custom Graphics out of the UK, a new magazine, killer. If you want to check it out, it's a great magazine. It covers tattooing as well. And, uh, and you, you do a little tattooing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as well as me, me and Jaime have got a little tattoo on the side. Definitely. And then uh, also a great airbrush that Katya and Roger Hassler have called Airbrush Step by Step Magazine out of Germany. Oh, okay. You can check it out. It's a great magazine. You can get some of your stuff in there. It's a oh, killer. Definitely. Yeah, definitely check it in there. Uh, also, the new uh, um, airbrush art. Uh, I can't remember the last. It's three A's. It's out of Italy. They refurbished the new Italian magazine. It's out there. Of course, Airbrush Action. Uh, and uh, I also write for Low Rider Magazine, Hot Rock Magazine, Truck and Mini Truck and different. Basically, quite a I'm a freelancer, so That's I don't work for anyone publishing house. Great. Uh, in terms of knowledge and information, really important, I like to plug your forum, which oh, is just that. Much. It's yeah. a wealth of information. A bunch of artists get together, and they put posts, and we talk, we exchange ideas, and it's a place of inspiration. And this guy, uh, you want to go ahead and plug that? Yeah, it's called the Custom Culture Lounge. It's spelled with two Ks, Custom Culture with Ks, lounge.com. If you can't remember that, you can remember my website, which is gotpaint.com. Scroll down the front page. Click on the Custom Culture Lounge. Started about four years ago. It is a pure Q&A driven forum. Uh, we try to keep the politics to a minimum. Uh, no advertisements, no banners, uh, no sponsors, just me running. We've got about actually 10,600 uh, people worldwide on this forum. And uh, get, it actually is officially the world's largest airbrush portal as far as like, questions That's getting impressive. answered back and forth. And uh, it's a great place to go to. It doesn't cost you any money. All you have to have is a legitimate email address so we keep up the spam bots. But I had a lot of good questions answered here. A lot of contacts I made that are artists here doing demos now. I think I actually ran into you on Airbrush.com, but we've communicated on the forum many times. Yeah, the internet, that's so, where it's at. It's a great, it's a great, you know, if you try to fine tune it to just Q&A and tech, and we've done a really great job with a great community on there. Just optimizing information. If you ever want to learn how to Airbrush, guys, you can't beat it. You know, forum, free information. Everyone's doing it. Everyone's sharing. Sure. And, uh, yeah, there's no egos. Yeah. We're just all having a great time. It's got great built-in search engines, so you can search out a topic and find posts going back four years. They're still pertinent. So. Oh, that's great. It's fantastic. If you guys uh, don't know, he's also he now has two books, right? Two. Yeah, we just uh, uh, last year came out with uh, Automotive Cheap Tricks Special Effects Two. Uh, first one was a bestseller, did really, really well. This one has already beat its sales in the first it's year. A beautiful book. We have some of the books here. We're going to be uh, doing sign, signing and uh, and. Uh, but uh, it's doing really good. I've published through Irish Action Magazine, but I'm uh, very proud of it. Yeah, I got a hold of one myself, the recent book. I got to say, guys, you got to get one. And even if you still know how to airbrush, even if you're a good artist, you know, get it on the shelf. It's, you never can stop learning. You never can stop absorbing. And this book is jam-packed full of information. It's a wealth of knowledge. And uh, I got one last year. I'm, I'm loving it. It's about it's 12 years since the first book came out, and it literally is 12 years of all the work I've done. Not all the work, but work I've done since the first book. And there's nothing to repeat, it's all new stuff. So I had a good time doing it. Plus, all the photography was digital. This thing, which I couldn't say about the last So the resolution was much better. I had Guillermo do all of the Photoshop stuff, and it was just, I'm a Photoshop retard. I have 
have, I have just enough to like make fun of my friends and folks. But I, I, he, 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 our director might look at a great job. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank really you. Really thank you good very stuff. Much. That's here. He, he can make everything. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. And he's a designer for Airbrush Action, right? Yeah, he works for Airbrush Action. We also freelance. He does some Castle Color. Man, if you ever hear the name Guillermo, use it. My guy's the nice. bomb. And Gearbox. Gearbox is my new guy with Photoshop. Uh, he's a great, he's a talented artist as well. We'll try to get some uh, interview, interview with him with too. Him. He's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, in terms of information, guys, you know, the, my YouTube page is the place to go. I try to really, uh, you know, key in on the details. And the details is really where it's at. That's where, you know, separates okay to great. And that's when artists understands what the details are all about. Um, now, in terms of rules and guidelines that give you the details, what kind of guides your process throughout, uh, you know, you doing a piece? It really depends on the client, uh, whether it's me just doing it for the sake of myself doing it, or because I'm experimenting. Because there's some things I do just for sheer fun, and some things I do just experiment. I like it a bit. I like coming up with a new technique. I'll twist and turn it and mess around with it until I really get it right. And then I'll go and find something else to play with. I've really always been more of a MacGyver of the industry than actually a phenomenal technician or anything. I, I appreciate and I love the technicians. I mean, I, your work on the base is heck of a I just I'm always blown away by everything you do. And it's, it's signature recognizable. And I always like hoping mine is too, but I have so many diverse styles. Sometimes people are always like, oh, I like your work for you, but this guy's stuff's better than yours. And oh, man. It's kind of like... I like that. At the same time, yeah. like, well, I did that too, but then it's kind of funny. It's like, well, I guess I'm kicking my own ass in the industry yeah, sometimes. Right? <laughs> and, but I always like changing gears around, doing everything. So, really, what I work on is depends on why I'm doing it, and at the time, the time I'm doing it. I just finished a children's book. It's coming out next month. I did all the illustrations on a book called The Blue Balloons, that I wrote by Sherry Catlin, and the book's going to be hitting the streets probably within a month. And everyone's like, oh, there's skulls. And I'm like, actually, it's a complete department. People yeah. look at it. You it's won't all, know you did that. Yeah, it's all uh, pen and ink color pencil. And they're just like oh, looking at that. it. And uh, so I, I, it, people say, well, are you going into that now? Like, people thought I was going to quit at airbrushing because I was tattooing. I'm like, mm -hmm. I use everything. Oh, yeah. In fact, my airbrush works gotten better since my tattooing. Some of my uh, rendering skills got tweaked in a little bit of a different way doing mm -hmm. this book because I was doing with a completely different client base, a totally different way of going about it. Where I had to create every single page from just reading the story, and that was really interesting because it's like I can't tell you any client I've ever had to hire me to do 40 paint jobs at once, but. Uh, children's book is 40 paint jobs at once, and I can't. And it's, it's a very different way of doing it, and it was great because I learned a lot of interesting techniques on composition and minimalism. Uh, you can't give too much information to a book, nine or seven year old, that translates directly into some of the stuff I'm doing right now. So you're never going to miss anything, no matter what you do. You're going to be able to uh, attribute it back to your work and, and continue building your style. So when you say what you know, determines each piece, I have to really. I'm not that series of questions yeah. of like, who's the form, what's it on, what's it about, what's the theme. Exactly. Well, what about the artistic process? Any rules like you know, keeping your work clean or lighting, the effects? I kind of guide the process? I try and tell people that you know, your moments, your money, time, and quantity of something can vary, but your quality never should. So whether I'm working on some $50 little gizmo or like golf club for a friend, or I'm working on like a designer at the moment, uh, the quality will be the same. You know, the price of course is going to vary, the time spent is boring, it's a totally different thing. So I tell people, no matter what, your name has to be on it. Um, I always hear stories of artists that say, oh, I, I can't stand my old stuff. I, I, I hate it. I, I, I see this paint job every now and then. There's always going to be stuff that you're embarrassed about. Yeah. I make sure it doesn't leave the shop until I'm happy with it, even if it means me losing my ass. Yeah. I can honestly say that there's not a single paint job, bike, or car, or whatever, that I still won't stand by to this day. That's great. And, which is good, because if there is one you're embarrassed about, that sucker's going to haunt you. Oh, yeah. And it'll be at every show, and it'll have your name <laughs> bigger than anything else you've ever done. So. And the customer is going to it's gonna resonate with them, right? Exactly. Yeah. Great. Well, how many minutes we got left, uh, interviewer? Good? This means none. I think that was a sign you all got. <laughs> well, we're going to have to save this for another clip. Uh, so stay tuned, guys. Hey, Craig. Good stuff, man. I appreciate the interview. Anytime, man. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Got more coming, guys. Stay tuned.